the British Bulldog would need to be carefully matched with dogs that could provide healthy new genes while preserving as much of the Bulldog's appearance and form as possible. I'm heading to Essex to meet a woman who breeds perhaps the healthiest of all outcrossed Bulldogs, the Levitt Bulldog. Hey Jessica. Yes, come Hello, in. Let me Catherine. just block these guys. Oh, come on. And who's this? This is Hello. Ruby and Arthur. Hello, darling. There's a good boy. <laughs> Arthur will give you hugs always. <laughs> so, Jess, these are Levitt Bulldogs. Levitt Bulldogs, yeah. And what's the origin of the Levitt breed? So, basically, they were recreated by David Levitt 40 years ago. He wanted a dog that resembled the old bulldog, working bulldog. So they are basically the result of a British bulldog being outcrossed with... To a bull mastiff, a bull terrier, an American bulldog. OK. Can you talk us through the difference between the, bull, the British bulldog and the levet? They're less exaggerated. Um, the muzzle's longer. Mm. They have a full tail. Um, yeah, they're yeah. bred to move freely. And we want the dogs yeah. to still resemble that type. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, thank you for the kisses. But the emphasis is on the health. Yeah. So the key to it is that there's nothing yeah. extreme about them. It, you know, we want a dog that is functional, that's comfortable, that is able to do everything a family, you know, member wants to do with them. There's no <laughs> bum wiping, there's no face, <laughs> face cleaning. <laughs> You're giving me a facial. But no, the point of them is that, I mean, maybe seven, she's never been to the vet. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. They're totally different to a kennel club bulldog. Were you ever worried that the temperament of the dog would change, aside from the health of it, the actual temperament? They're bred by people that are just so, so careful. So the temperament is a really big deal for me. So I look for really, you know, placid, gentle family dogs, which generally, in the breed, they are. What kind of health testing is involved for the Levitt? breeding right. scheme well before a dog's bred they're fully health screened um so we test their all their joints their elbows their hips um we we x-ray their spine which... is this testing compulsory yes wow they have to meet a certain standard and they're not recognized as levitt bulldogs without this level of testing so it's a pass or fail pass or fail it's the responsible way to breed mm. dogs you know i can't imagine looking at a dog and going to breed it, not having a clue of the health of their joints, and mm. I just can't, because... And then raise a litter of puppies, looking at them going, oh, you know, and then have families invested in them. Mm. And you could just be breeding a dog that is not healthy, and it's mm. just not going to get better unless breeders put their neck on the line. <laughs> you know, people don't instantly recognise them as bulldogs, but I quite like that. <laughs> She'll Girl. creep up, look. Yeah, <laughs> The creepy paws. Are you a little baby? Yeah. Ruby. Arthur, come here. I can just, you know, like kids get like, <laughs> and you, you know when you go, just don't ask for anything when we go in there, and, and, <laughs> yeah, and they go, yeah. hey, Wait till up. everyone's gone home and then play And up. this is what you get. <laughs> for God's Oops. sake. So I loved Jessica's Levitt Bulldogs. They're beautiful, super healthy, energetic, athletic dogs. I worry, though, that um, from an outcrossing point of view, uh, they're just not going to be an acceptable alternative. It may just be a step too far um, for the devotees of, of the British Bulldog.